Hey everyone, this is Derek from TCI. And on this video, we're gonna do a quick demonstration of the Link Badger. I'm gonna use a router that I got from Amazon. And I think it could charitably be described as very affordable. Not very capable, but that's good enough. That's kind of the point. I've got my internet connection here, represented by this white wire. And I'll be using my trusty Dell laptop. I'm going to hardwire in my laptop Okay, fantastic. We're on the internet. Router, internet, computer. How does the Link Badger fit into this scenario? Well, I'm going to redo the wires so that they're compatible with the scenario that I'm describing. I'm going to add a second internet connection, which will be represented by the black wire. And then we'll put the Link Badger between this device and this laptop. So let's do that. Okay, let's review what I've done now that the Link Badger is attached. I have ISP Black and ISP White plugged into my Link Badger. The Link Badger is then plugged into my router, and my laptop is then plugged into my router's LAN ports. So nothing's changed. I'm still on the Internet. But let me do the demonstration for you of why this is a useful tool. I'll begin by maintaining a constant ping to Google's DNS servers. And I can continue to let this run, but I'm going to simulate an internet outage by unplugging one of my ISPs here. I'll use the black one, which is Spectrum in my case, and I'll physically disconnect it from the Link Badger. And we'll see what happens to my ping when that happens. So you can see here that I've dropped one, but the Link Badger quickly picked up on the fact that something is wrong, and it rebalanced the traffic to the white ISP, which happens to be my CenturyLink service. And the computer is none the wiser. Dropped one packet, otherwise it keeps going. I can still browse the internet, and it's just as fast as ever. To simulate this going back online, I'll just plug this back in so that we get our Spectrum service back. You're probably wondering, well, what IP address do we target if there's something, say, VPN or virtual server, port forwarding, anything like that. What IP address do people see when I'm switching between up to three ISPs on the Link Badger? Well, here's what they're going to see. And this IP address that's listed, where's that IP coming from? That comes from us. That comes from TCI. We provide this as a cloud service. So the Link Badger device aggregates all of these ISPs that you attach to it in the cloud over at our data center and we give you a static IP address that never changes and no matter which of these IPs you know uh, these little sub ISPs is broken as long as one of them is working the static IP that we've given you will always be there and always respond now does that mean you need to ask us for any help with managing your router what if you wanted to open a port up on your firewall for instance well this IP address that we provide is mapped one-to-one -to, -one to your router. If you open any port on your router, it will automatically be opened on the cloud IP. And if you close it, vice versa. So what do you target for a VPN site-to-site, -site, for instance? You target the cloud IP that we give you, and then our device aggregates over up to three internet connections, and your VPN is much, much faster, much more bandwidth. All three of these worth of bandwidth will then be available. And if you lose a connection, your VPN will stay up. It may drop for a second if you lose a packet here and there, but for the most part, you won't even notice that this is happening. Okay, so what about times where it's not that the internet's come undone? What if the internet's just getting kind of weird or lossy? What if you're losing packets? Websites won't load, applications won't stay connected. Nothing really works very well after 10 to 15%. How does the Link Badger handle that scenario? The Link Badger runs a continuous service that is always checking the health of the packets that roll through that device. If one of the links is detected where we see that we're losing a lot of packets on that link, the link will be shut down and then the Link Badger will continue to monitor it for health. We'll send administrative packets to that link only 
between our data center and your device. Once we see that that pathway is clean again without any loss, then that link will be brought back into the aggregation. Using this health check algorithm is a great improvement over just waiting for the internet to fail completely in terms of it going offline as in a power outage. Now the Link Badger has an internal web page that will tell you whether or not any of your particular links are currently down. The Link Badger Cloud will email you if something has been offline administratively for more than five minutes. In case you need to call your ISP, you'd probably want to know that there's something wrong. Okay, that's how the Link Badger subscription service works. It's this simple. It works even with the crummiest, cheapest, most available, most affordable uh, router that you can find on Amazon, and it'll work great with whatever you've got for sure. If you have any questions, you can always leave a comment or send us an email at help at yourtechconnection.com. Thanks for watching this demo. We appreciate it.